Hey everyone, it's me Ruby. Welcome to Tarot Time. Alright guys, I hope everyone is doing good and taking care of themselves. Um, so this video here is for Gemini for the month of December 2020. Let's see what's going on for you guys, Gemini. We're going to be using the Magic Tarot for you guys, as well as some Oracle for you guys, Oracle messages. See what's going on for you. We'll get into your general messages and love messages and oracle messages. So, without further ado, let's get seeing what's up for you, Gemini. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and watching my videos. It means a lot. Thank you so much. Let's see, Gemini, what's going on for you? Let's see the general messages for you guys. What are the messages Gemini needs to know, Spirit? Gemini. 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 The month of December 2000. Too many cards. Gemini, please. Thank you, Gemini. We got the Five of Pentacles. Gemini, please. Show me Gemini. Alright. Gemini for the December 2020. You're the Ten of Wands. So it looks like you guys need to be letting go of old cycles. Old baggages that you're carrying on. Some of you guys are feeling a bit upset about a certain situation that you need to clear. You need to get off your chest, basically. This could also be your person, but I'm feeling that it's more of you who's been feeling this way. Okay, all right. We got, okay, all right. We got the Empress. Wow. And the Six of Wands. So, looks like you guys want to and or will, you know, get this tens are in. Tens are the goal because this is where you achieve what you want. You reach the goal, the Ten of Wands. You have been carrying all these burdens and now you're going to release it. Bye bye. No need for that. Because you have been feeling a little bit down lately, I think. Um, and you want to release that energy. Some of you guys have a person on your mind, looks like, and you think of them very highly. And you want to move forward with them because the Six of Wands is victory, achievement. You have basically won from the battle. So, you're letting go of some wands here. Get it some burdens. It's off your chest and you're into the Six of Wands of victory. So it looks like some of you guys need to be doing that. You need to be letting go of something, getting something off your chest, something that you wanted to say for a while. And for some of you guys, once you do that, you may be feeling like the Empress on top of the world. Like, yes, I am better now. December, all right, December 2020 for Gemini. What can we get? What are the messages that Gemini needs to know? The Seven of Cups. Feels like once you get uh, rid of the Ten of Wands energy and you enter the Seven of Cups, it feels like you'll be able to be, um, you'll be able to basically have time to really see the choices that you have in life. Um, it's like for example, when you have a lot of things on your mind, you have a lot of 
things to do, a lot of responsibilities. It's not like you have a lot of time to do things. Um, time to take, uh, time to take for yourself. So now that you get rid of those extra burdens of getting something off your chest, now you, excuse me, of being able to move forward into decisions that you have to make with the Seven of Cups. Get the Eight of Swords. Don't worry, guys. Don't be all, you know, Eight of Swords. That's basically how I see it self imposed. You know, you're worrying a lot and you need to stop that. Okay, Let's see what else, Gemini. What can get? What are the messages? Telling you not to worry about the decision that you have to make. Don't worry about the decision that you have to make. Don't worry about it. The more you don't, the more you worry about it, like, you know, how are you going to grow if you keep worrying about it? And that's hard to do, but it's gotta happen. Can we get more questions, please? Gemini. Gemini need to know. Oh, um, okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Looks like that's the worry is gonna be changing. Yeah, things are gonna be changing here for you guys. And it looks like for some of you guys have been resisting or not thinking that there's gonna be any change. You know, you know, it's like a feeling of, oh, this is too good to be happening, too good to be true, but there is going to be change. It's going to happen. It's like the, the universe is planning this all out for you. You may think that, oh, Things are not going great. Oh no, what do I do? But things are changing for you. And this is also probably a message for you to also basically change. Whoops. Change what you're, you're doing. Stop worrying about it. Change your habits. And also Wheel of Fortune is good fortune. Turning point in life. And I see this as basically you can't do nothing about it. You can't do nothing about it. It's going to change. This is destiny. And it's going to be for um, for the good. It, it, they're basically saying they're going to help you out there. Whether you like it or not, we're going to help you out. <laughs> Gemini, let's see. Let's get some more messages. Gemini, please. Gemini, month of December 2020. What are the messages for Gemini, month of December 2020? Also could be, you might be feeling change about yourself that you're like, oh wow, I never noticed this about myself. I'm feeling like changing, I'm growing. Anyway, Gemini, December, okay, you want to come out? Seven of Swords. That yeah, interesting. That came out for my last reading in Sagittarius as well. The Five of Swords. Interesting. Swords all over the place. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting read here, guys. So looks like there's going to be change. Definite change. Yeah, we got the Wheel of Fortune, Five of Swords. There's a change right here. Someone has to make a decision. Alright. This just kind of like, I wasn't even planning on shuffling, but the Four of Swords came out. We'll just leave that to the side. 
Wow, okay, I kind of want to pull some more cards on this. All right, let's pull like, let's see, Gemini, month of December, 2020. Looks like someone has to take some action here. No more holding back. Interesting, we got the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords. Looks like the Divine wants you to change your ways, change your thoughts, your thought pattern, so you can move forward. We got the Queen of Pentacles here. Wow. We got that for the Sagittarius read as well. That's really interesting. All right, okay. I do want to pull, just because I'm curious, I want to pull another. This is an interesting read as well. So Gemini, December 2020. Messages for them, please, Spirit. We got the King of Swords. Ooh, okay, wow, guys. This King of Swords came up in the Sagittarius reading and Queen of Pentacles as well. I think the King of Swords came out. Or was that? No, it was, um, sorry, that was King of Cups, but, you know, um, I think he made it, I think King of Swords may have come out. I think so, yeah. So, wow, okay. Looks like someone needs to, okay. Let me just like tune in here. Someone definitely feels like they need to say something to someone and tell the truth. And I think some of you guys kind of feel intimidated by the Queen of Pentacles. You're like, Oh, well, how do I approach this queen here? You see this knight of pentacles? He's kind of sitting on a, um, I don't know what that is, like a bed, some, some, some bench or whatever, and he's kind of, he's very much looking at the queen of pentacles, and he's like, oh, wow, um, how do I, how do I tell this person? How do I come forward? The divine is like, you're changing things, you gotta do it. You gotta get into the eight of swords, like the eight, the seven, get the five, change things should happen. No more playing around, no more, you know, no more being all up in your head. No more, none of that anymore. The divine is saying you need to change. You may see this person as the empress as well. So yeah, the Seven Cups, the decision needs to be made in order for you to communicate what you feel. I'm not really feeling this is, I'm getting more of the energies. You got the Ten of Pentacles, so that's really good too. The Ten of Pentacles, the abundance. This could also be, you know, financially related for some of you guys, but really, I'm really feeling for the majority of you guys, this is something that you have to, excuse me, build courage up to say to someone, I'm feeling this is a relationship or something that could be a relationship. All right, wow guys. <laughs> some of you guys want to look good this person and look good in their eyes you want to make sure they're you know you, for some of you guys you want to make sure you're not you get a little bit shy you know even though this is king of swords i'm feeling the energy is like whether this is you or your your someone who's you're, that you're dealing with um a little bit intimidated i feel and you're, you're not wanting to make a fool of yourself. Or they're not wanting to make a fool of themselves. I am, 
I feel like you gotta take action. Because if you don't take action, right, this is what the guys are telling you. Because we have the Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, and then Five of Swords, then the Four of Swords, which, you know, was, it came out, I wasn't even chuckling, really. It came out, so they're trying to tell you, you need to move away from the Eight of Swords. It's going, going, it's going a little bit backward. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for you guys for your gentle messages. I'm pretty sure this is also in a way love as well. But we'll pull more cards for love as well. Alright, interesting read, Gemini. Some of you guys are a little bit slow at making changes, but Looks like you guys want to, you really want to make that change. So let's see what the love messages are for Gemini for December 2020. Love messages for Gemini for 2020, December 2020 love messages. Got the six of swords interesting moving forward nine of pentacles what is this the queen of wands that is Sagittarius energy. So your person might be a Sagittarius. And, okay. Love messages. Alright. You want to move towards this queen, I feel. For Gemini 2020. Oh, too many cards are going to be coming out. Okay, we got the Four of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone doesn't want to let go. Someone doesn't want to let go of an opportunity to be with this person. Whether that's you or your person. This could be competition that you feel. What I'm kind of sensing here actually is, you see this Queen of Wands here? This Five of Wands? I'm kind of getting like, there's green in here and she's wearing green as well, but I'm kind of Seeing that some of you guys think like, well, are there any blockages of, you know, getting to be with this person? If there are, what can I do about it? And you don't want that. Okay, we got the Three of Swords. Let's see. I'm gonna clarify that three. We got a lot of swords here. Looks like. Why is the three of swords here? Alright, we got the page of wands and the nine of swords. Oh my god, guys. There's been eight of swords and nine of swords. There's been a lot of worry here. Holy. Look at the 
painted ones and the painted ones. Interesting. Some of you guys are quite shy. And the pages are younger energies. Some of you guys are, they are, they're more immature, younger energies. I'm not saying that you're immature in a bad way. I'm not. Pages, they're like a novice. Amateurs. Um, people who are new to it. So it's like, in a way, you are looking at this queen of wands thinking like, you know, it's an intimidation right there because you think of this person as a queen and you're feeling like a page, like, oh, how do I approach this? Three of wands, uh, three of swords. Your person might have felt upset. Um, upset about the situation you have. They may have felt broken. You might, or you may have. The nine of swords, someone here has definitely been worrying a lot. Some definitely a lot of worry, like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Worrying about the situation, worrying about how they have been feeling, the Three of Swords, feeling, you know, heartbroken. But there was, really, somebody wants to change. It's, they're just scared. Let's see, what can we get else for love messages for Gemini? It's gonna come for them. What's happening? Gemini. Justice. That is truth and balance. So, looks like your guys are telling you you need to balance this situation out. You know, you need to really say how you feel, speak your truth in order for them to be balanced, balanced, restored, because there's so many swords in here. And I'm, the nine of swords, three of swords, and eight of swords is here, so, like, you will need to stop this worrying about what's going to happen. You just need to speak the truth. And I think it's going to happen. I think, I think you're just, it's going to happen, this truth's going to happen. Exactly, like how we have the Wheel of Fortune here too. It's gonna happen kind of whether you like it or not kind of thing, because your guides are gonna push you towards it. Let's see. I want to see what else. Can you see love messages for Gemini? Okay, we got the Page of Cups and the Hanged Man, which is right here. All right. So someone's been feeling quite stuck here. They were feeling stuck. I looks like they're gonna come. Looks like either you or your person is gonna come forward. Like we got two pages here: page of wands, page of caps. So some some of you guys or your person's kind of shy. But you're gonna come forward. You're gonna muster up your courage. You're gonna say how you feel. It's like. The guy's pushing you, okay, I know you're scared, I know you're scared, but you gotta do it. You gotta do it, come on. Just do it. Let's see, I'm it. This is interesting, let's see. Gemini, 2020, December. Love messages, please. Okay. We got the Queen of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles. So, that's really good. We have, we have the Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, and Ace of Pentacles. So, it looks like that's really interesting. Let's look at this. Look what we have. We got the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands. We got the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. So, it looks like you really like this person or they really like you, 
and you just think the world of them. You think, and with the Empress here too, you really do like this person, looks like, and you're intimidated, and you're worried of how you're going to say something. And you know, the King wants here, remember we have the King of Wands? This King of Wands is a king. So outwardly, um, they look they look like they've got it all together. And in this reading in particular, it looks like you got it, you seem like you got it all together, but when it comes to this person, you're just like, oh my goodness. It's it, it's really cute, actually. This page of cups looks like they're daydreaming. They're just like wondering, oh, how how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna this you really like this person, like so and you got the ace of pentacles that is new beginnings. That's basically solid grounding. So it looks like you get out of this eight of swords energy, this this worrying about things, and you come forward, this can happen for you. You need to come forward so that you know um, I'm feeling like there's things that your person wants you to know as well, and, oh my god, is this video so long? This video's been long, I'm so sorry. Things that you put, once you speak your truth, your person will speak their truth as well, and there'll be balance, restored justice. Um, and you'll realize that what you've been worrying about could have been avoided before. If you spoke before, but if you speak now and you take action now, take action now, you will know, feel a little bit better. And you might move into the Night King, like, you know, energies more into that. So, wow, looks like that's interesting. So, let's pull some angel cards for you. Let's see what's going on for you, Gemini. Gemini. Angel messages for Gemini, please. Gemini for December 2020. Gemini Yeah, so this children kind of really relates back to the Page of Cups and Page of Wands. Some of you guys might be feeling, it's like that energy of, um, you know, I'm someone who is at the very beginning of things. The pages are at the very beginning, so they're starting out. And some of you feel like that, like, just starting out and, um, you know, not really experienced in it, but you're trying, obviously. Hidden Worlds, Archangel Raziel, okay, and Archangel Metatron. I think some of your guides are like childlike, very, um, very innocent, like, and this could also be talking about you as well, very, like, or your person, very innocent, like, very, um, not trying to do harm, really, not trying to do harm, um, more of like, it's like you don't know how to do harm. You just quite shy a little bit. Um, um, 
Let's see here. I get a little bit of afraid too, a little bit. But this could also mean for some of you guys, children, maybe there will be children affecting you in some sort of way. Hidden worlds. But the hidden worlds, I feel like there's things that you also don't know. That you need to know. And there's a whole other um, type of, there's a whole other life out there. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. There's so much for you, basically, there's so much more for you to discover than what you're basically doing to yourself right now. You're keeping yourself in that eight of swords energy and worrying about it. There's so much more than that. That's really what it's saying to you guys. I also have another or uh, another uh, oracle deck that I will use. Let's see what comes up for you. It's called a Chakra Wisdom Oracle Deck for Gemini. December 2020. Gemini, please give Gemini, what does Gemini need to know? Okay. Self worth and completion. Yeah. A lot of you guys need to know your self-worth. Feel better about yourself. You need to know your self-worth. Because some of you guys are feeling quite in intimidated. You're not really sure how you could live up to this person or this situation. In order for basically completion to happen, this feeling of finalment, you guys also need to realize your your self worth, your your belonging. You need to realize that you're important, and you're important to a lot of people in your life. And also, the self-worth relates to a lot of swords as well, that is coming out. Yeah, there needs to be a lot of healing going on. And you need to realize that, that you shouldn't be scared to open up your feelings, I feel. Open up how you feel, approach this person, don't be scared about it. You know, <laughs> looks like this person is also kind of waiting for you as well. <laughs> waiting for you to speak. basically waiting for you to um, they're really really waiting for you and really counting on you and um, they want to see the best in you is what I'm getting they want to see the best in you they want you to grow they want you to achieve they want you to you know, um, um, they don't want to see you stuck in this energy. So, what I'm feeling is that they do want to see you grow, and they they don't want you to be. They want they want balance as well. So that's what I'm getting. Um, no shoot, this video is gonna be long. I'm sorry, those of you who are Gemini. Sorry, but okay, let's get to it. So I'm going to read this as well to see what your messages are. 
All right, let's get to it. All right, hidden worlds. There are realms that exist beyond our everyday perceptions. Realms of color, sound, thought, and feeling. Realms of myth. Realms of unimaginable vastness that cover both time and space. There are times of increased awareness and increased sensitivity. When our everyday perceptions shift from our senses, become heightened. This occurs during major life or personal transitions, the artistic or creative process, and during heightened spiritual or psychic awareness. During these periods, the veil that separates the world becomes thinner and our everyday awareness becomes hyper-awareness. Our senses become refined as we tune into new colors, sounds, thoughts, feelings, myths, and vastness of time and space. This is a time of heightened awareness for you. This is a time for truly listening, feeling, and opening up to hidden worlds. You may have felt yourself drawn to new thoughts, ideas, new experiences recently. You may have become more aware of signs or omens from the universe. The universe. Alright, like we were just talking about. Alright, um. Let's see. Strange synchronicities may be occurring regularly. Your dreams may be stranger and more vivid. The veil may be thinning at this time to reveal new worlds both within and around you. It is extremely important, important that you take note of what is revealing itself to you. There are secrets, keys, and signs from the universe that want to be revealed to you. It is an ideal time to write, draw, meditate, communicate, and create. Let the secrets of hidden worlds inspire you into a new state of consciousness. So yeah, that is very much resonating with the tarot. And I will read this as well from our chakra oracle, the self-worth and completion. Where'd it go? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to find it. Let's read completion. We got here. So completion. All right. Uh, this is a reminder to cherish all the beauty in your life, including endings. Reflect upon your part in the history and discover what you value most. Do not fear completion. Embrace it. Um, so it says, am I present in the moment? How do I respond to the idea of completion? And key ideas would be honoring your legacy, a natural ending to a grand adventure, a new beginning on the horizon, a new adventure honoring those who give to us. Key words are achievement, determination, and fulfillment. And it says, with meditation, allow your feelings about endings to come to you, whatever they may be. Do you fear them or rejoice them? Do some journaling to find clarity here. For some of you guys, this there needs to be an ending here basically an ending of past worries and past things that may have occurred that you or your person didn't like and you need to move forward if you want to move forward with this person that you like and offer their love to them excuse me you need to basically let go of past, basically let go of past demons. And self-worth. Uh, people, events, and material objects beyond your frame of reference are being drawn to you. Alright. Uh, aim higher, for you will draw even greater experiences into your life. Allow your energy to grow. Receiving, in, re receiving is an action. So it says, how do I relate to the world deserving? Am I ready to allow myself to receive what others may want? And the key ideas are greater knowledge and innocent curiosity. What did I just say about 
you guys, Innocent Curiosity Children, the pages. So that is really interesting. Being rewarded, receiving divine love. Keywords are faith, self-love, and value. You have value, and your person wants you to know that. Meditation is okay, so let go of any tension as you fall like a feather into a salmon chair. Imagine the chair receiving you. Feel yourself being filled with salmon light. Stay there until you have received an abundance of energy from the light. So that is for you guys, for Gemini, for the month of December 2020. What an interesting read we got here. For you guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I really do hope it helps you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe my videos and my channel. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, and definitely leave the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. So yeah, alright guys, bye-bye.